Are you tired of stutters, lag, and low FPS ruining your CS2 matches? In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to boost your FPS, fix lag spikes, and unlock the smoothest experience possible in Counter-Strike 2. Let's get your game running smoother than ever. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Optimize Windows for Best Performance To make sure your Windows computer runs as fast as it can, you need to turn off extra visual effects that use up system power. First, go to the search bar at the bottom left of your screen and type, Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. Click on it to open a window called Performance Options. Inside this window, click the option that says Adjust for Best Performance. This will turn off all the extra animations and effects that can slow down your system. But if you still want your system to look good and keep some important visuals, make sure you check these two boxes. Smooth edges of screen fonts, so that text is easier to read. Show thumbnails instead of icons, so you can see small previews of files instead of just blank icons. After doing that, click the Apply button. Now click the Advanced tab in the same window. Under the section called Processor Scheduling, choose Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This setting helps Windows give more power to games and apps you are using instead of things running in the background. When you're done, click OK to save all the changes. These changes will make your system run smoother and faster, help your programs open faster, and improve game performance. Step 2. Boost Windows Performance with Chris Titus Tech Utility Mo. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. We will make your computer even faster by using a tool called Chris Titus Tech Utility. This is a powerful tool that removes background apps and unneeded services that slow your system down. First, go to your FPS Boost Pack and open the text file. Copy the code written inside that file. Then, go to the Windows search bar, type PowerShell, right-click it, and choose Run as Administrator. This gives PowerShell permission to make changes. Now paste the code you copied into PowerShell and press Enter. This will open the Chris Titus Tech Utility tool. Once the tool is open, go to the Tweaks tab. You will see preset options that are made to boost performance. The minimal preset is safe for most users. It removes extra stuff but keeps important features. The standard preset gives even more performance and removes more unneeded things. Before making any changes, the tool will make a system restore point. This means you can undo everything later if needed. After you choose either minimal or standard, click the Run Tweaks button. When it's finished, close the tool. This step will turn off background services you don't need. Fix FPS drops, reduce lag, and increase your FPS overall. Step 3. Apply registry tweaks to improve performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make your performance even better, you can use registry tweaks. These are changes to Windows settings that help your CPU and GPU perform better. These tweaks help reduce lag, make your loading times faster, and stop FPS drops when playing CSGO 2. No matter if you use an Intel, AMD, or NVIDIA GPU, these settings will help CSGO 2 run better and smoother. By doing these small changes, your overall gaming experience will get better, and your system will be more stable while playing. Step 4. Optimize your CPU. Using Quick CPU for maximum performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. First, install a tool called Quick CPU on your computer. After you install Quick CPU, it will open by itself and show you its main screen. In this guide, I will walk you through all the important steps to set up Quick CPU for better performance, more FPS, and less input delay when gaming. The first thing we need to change is the power plan. At the top, click the drop down menu and select Ultimate Performance. This plan makes sure your CPU runs at full power all the time. Using this plan will make your game run smoother, give you more FPS, and reduce input lag. Now scroll down and find Core Parking. This setting controls whether your CPU keeps some of its cores off to save power. But for gaming, we want all CPU cores to be working all the time. So, set Core Parking to 100%. Next, set Performance to 100%. This makes your CPU stay at full speed. Set Frequency Scaling to 100%. This keeps your CPU speed high even when it's not doing much. Set Turbo Boost to 100%. This lets your CPU boost itself to a faster speed when needed. After you set all of these to 100%, click Apply to save the settings. Then click OK to confirm. Now click the button called Advanced CPU Settings. A new window will open. In this window, we are going to turn on some more settings to boost CPU performance. Turn on Turbo Boost by checking the box. This lets the CPU boost when needed. Turn on Enhanced Speed Step Technology, EIST, by checking the box. This helps save power without slowing down performance. Once you turn both of these on, close the window and exit Quick CPU. Your settings are now saved. 
In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Use MSI Utility to optimize hardware performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now I'll show you how to use a tool called MSI Utility to make your hardware work better and be more stable. Once you've downloaded the tool, open it. You will see a list of your computer's hardware. Find your GPU graphics card in the list. Since we are using the GPU to reduce latency, check the MSI box next to your GPU and set interrupt priority to high. Then find your integrated GPU, like Intel, in the list. Do the same thing. Check the MSI box and set the priority to high. Click Apply to save the settings, then close the MSI utility. Your system is now better optimized. Step 6. Removing telemetry for more privacy and better performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Telemetry is a Windows feature that collects data from your computer and sends it to Microsoft. This can affect your privacy and slow down your system. After downloading, open the program. When the tool opens, click Apply Only Recommended Settings. If a message appears asking you to create a restore point, you can skip it because we already made one earlier. Keep in mind that turning off telemetry may affect some features like clipboard history and storage. If anything breaks, you can use the Undo All Changes button in the app to go back to before. Then check the box that says Do Not Show This Message Again. Click OK, and you're done. Step 7. Unlock all CPU processors for maximum performance. To make sure your CPU is using all of its power, press the Windows key and search for System Configuration. Open it. In the window, click the Boot tab, then click Advanced Options. Now check the box that says Number of Processors. From the drop-down menu, choose the highest number that's available. This tells Windows to use all of your CPU's cores, which helps your computer run faster, respond better, and play games more smoothly. Click OK, then click Apply, and close the window. By following all of these steps, you will boost your CPU and GPU performance, lower lag, and make your system run more efficiently. Your games will feel smoother and run better. Enjoy your fully optimized PC.